Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Roblox GFX with Roblox Studio and Blender. So yeah, let's get it. Head over to this website called softgb.gumroad.com. Click this rig pack. And right here, you can add it to cart and download it. The rig pack is free, but you can give them money if you'd like to. But yeah, just download this rig pack right here. Now that we're in Roblox Studio, we're going to import the character we're going to use for the GFX. So you can either use a plugin um, importer for the rigs like this one or the one from moon animator or you can use the one from roblox if you're using your own character and the avatar tab is right here so i'm going to use this one because i'm using my character make sure you import it as a r6 and yeah i'm just going to import it if you used it from if you use the plugin from roblox set your character to zero comma zero comma zero but if you're using a plugin like this one or the one from moon animator set it to zero comma three comma zero so that it spawns in the middle so yeah as you guys can see when i click on my rig and go to the properties tab my position is zero comma zero comma zero and that's because i used the importer from roblox now we're going to export the clothes so just right click on your rig in the explorer tab and then go down to export selection and save it on your computer now for the accessories click this little triangle on your rig now you can see everything you have on just select all the accessories you want to export to select multiple at a time hold down control while you're selecting and then just right click it and export this as a selection all right now that we're in blender the first thing we're going to do is import the rigs we downloaded from the beginning of the video go up to edit press preferences now go to add-ons and then click install now in your downloads, just type in what we downloaded from the beginning of the video. So Roblox starter rigs, click it, and then just press install add-on. Now you can type it into this little search bar and just make sure that it is selected. Once you've done that, we could delete all of this. So just select it all, right click it, and then press delete. Now click this little arrow to the side, go to starter rigs, and then select the body type you're gonna use. Now from here, we're gonna import the accessories. So go up to file, press import, press wavefront obj, and then select the file on your computer where you saved your accessories. If you exported it correctly from Roblox Studio, it should sit right on top of the rigs like this. And now to see the color of everything, I'm gonna go up to this viewport setting right here and click this one. Now you can see the color. But as you can see, it's a little bit transparent. It looks kind of weird. So we're gonna click that. I'm gonna press this icon right here. We're going to scroll all the way down until we see blend mode and set this to alpha clip. And we might have to do this multiple times because there are multiple textures sometimes. So we're going to click this right here for handle two. We're going to go all the way down, blend mode again, and set it to alpha clip as well. And now we're just going to attach the accessories to the actual body. So click the accessories, then hold shift and click this little ring around the head. Now press control P and go down to bone and click that so now once you have it selected we should be able to go in pose mode and the accessory should move with the body yep it does so that means you did it correctly all right and lastly to get this set up we're gonna go and put the clothes on and we're gonna change the face so go up to the shading tab click on the rig now go up to main texture right here click this X and open up the file where you downloaded your clothes from Roblox studio after you did that, we're gonna change the face. So go down to face texture right under main texture, click this X, and we're gonna open a folder called Roblox HD Faces. You should see it with the downloads from the rigs from the beginning of the video. Once you find it, you should see a bunch of different faces you can choose from. So yeah, just find one you like and then select it. After you've got your face, now we could just play with the texture a little bit of the clothes. So this tab right here on the side, we can just adjust this to how we want the clothes to look. So if you put specular down, you'll get a more solid look. For those of you that like the glossy look, you could put metallic up and you could just put specular up too. You should get a little bit more of a glossy look. You just play with these settings and adjust it to how you like it. For those of you that really want that glossy look though, put roughness down and then put metallic up and it gets really shiny. Now from here, we're ready to start posing. So go back up to the layout tab, click these lines around your character, go up to object mode and press pose mode. And now we can just adjust the character to however we want. So to make stuff rotate, 
you're gonna click this icon right here and then click one of these lines around your character and now you can move it like that and yeah that goes for everything you can use the move tool a little bit too if you want to move the different parts of your character but yeah just pose it however you want i'm gonna pose my character and then i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after oh yeah and to undo a move you just made like let's say for example i move this over here just click Control and then z to undo Now that you got your character pose, from here we're gonna go download some lighting so we could use it for the GFX. Head over to this website called polyhaven.com, scroll down until you see browse HDRIs, and now from here you can choose any lighting scene you want. So once you find one you like, just select it. Now that you've selected one that you want, just go up to here and before you press download, just make sure this is on 8K and make sure this is on HDR, and then you could download it. Now back in Blender, go back up to the shading tab Make sure you're off pose mode, so select pose mode and press object mode. Then go down to object right here, press world, and move around until you find this part. Now just press add, go down to texture, press environment texture, and put that there. Now all you have to do is open the file um, for the lighting that you downloaded and then connect this color to the background color. Now that you have it open, you're not going to see it right away. We just have to change our viewport setting. So go back up to here and now we're going to click this option. Once you do that, you should see the lighting all around you. And now we're just going to adjust the lighting so it's pointing to the front of your character. Go back to add, go to search and then type in mapping. And then you're also going to go back to add and type in coordinates and then you should see texture coordinates. Now that you've added these, just put them in order from texture right here to mapping right here and then put texture coordinates over here. Now connect generated from texture coordinates to vector and mapping for this one and connect this vector to the vector in, in your actual texture tab and then just connect these colors again. So now the texture is still around you but you can control the position of the lighting just from here so you can rotate it so that now it'll face the front of your character just like that. Now we're gonna add a camera. So go back up to the layout tab, hold shift and then press A and then click camera. Now we're gonna move the camera to the position we wanna shoot from. So just select the camera, you can move it over here and then raise it up so it's pointing in the front of your character. And now to see what the camera sees, we're gonna click this icon and this little orange outline lets you know that the camera is still selected. So now press this icon right here on the side and we can play with these different settings to make it angled to the front of your character. Now we can play with these different coordinates to bring it closer and raise it a little bit. And just remember that only what's within this rectangle will be in the actual GFX when you finally render it. So just make sure everything you wanna see in the GFX is within this rectangle. So yeah, just keep playing with these settings. Make sure everything you want in the GFX is within the rectangle. And then we're gonna finish off the render. All right, lastly, we're going to go to this camera icon right here, set this render engine to cycles, and make sure this device is on GPU compute. Now go down to here, and to make it easier for your computer when we're looking at the GFX before we render it, we're gonna bring this down to about 250. You don't really need more than this, because um, it's just gonna make it harder for your computer and we're not even really rendering it yet. But for the max samples under the render tab, we're gonna put this to about 2000. You don't really need more than 2000, so I wouldn't recommend going above it, but it's up to you. Now to see what the GFX will look like when it's really finished rendering, we can click this little setting right here under viewports and it'll show us the final product. This may make your computer run a little bit slow, but it'll actually show you what the GFX will look like. So I don't really like how this lighting is. So I'm actually gonna go back to the shading tab and adjust the lighting again to make sure all this is getting light. All right, so I fixed my lighting for my GFX. And the last thing we're gonna need to do before we render is get rid of this background. So we're gonna go to this camera icon again, go all the way down to film and then press transparent. So now everything behind you is clear and you can use whatever background you want for your GFX. So yeah, from here, your GFX is pretty much done. You can go up to render, press render image, 
in next to samples right here you can see how much it has left to render before your gfx is done once this counter is filled up you'll be able to save it as an image but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions for me you can ask it in the comments i'll answer for sure but yeah like and subscribe